we need to get a 16 micro inch RA surface finish. We're pulling it off, but just barely with a 60 mesh grit size. Our wheel supplier keeps yelling at us to use 100 or 120 mesh grit size. We finally tried it and burned the hell out of our parts. Is this dude clueless or are we just missing something? This is a situation I encounter all the time. In fact, I might even say almost all the companies that I visit make the same mistake. What they do is they've got to grind a part. They say, ah, oh, we need a 16 micro inch surface finish or a 0.4 micron surface finish RA value. Say, so, well, let's go grab a wheel off the shelf. There's a 60 grit wheel lying over there. They stick it on, they try it, and they say, well, the surface finish is a little rough. What can we do? So the operator says, oh, I can fix that. Goes over, he's got a single point diamond. He dresses real slow. Maybe instead, instead of taking a 1,000 depth of cut or a 25 micron depth of cut, he takes a 5 micron depth of cut or a 2 tenths depth of cut just to really get a really fine dress. They grind another part and they say, ah, oh, great, we got our 16 micro inch surface finish. Good job, Joe. What they don't realize, at least not right away, is they've created a very dull wheel. The grits are very flat and dull. When they grind, they get really big normal forces, they get a lot of heat generation, burn, chatter, lots of bad things. What they really should be using is 120, maybe 100 mesh uh, wheel. So this is the magic chart that I pull out all the time. And of all the graphs and charts and diagrams, this is the one that I use most frequently. It says, what surface finish do you want? What grit size should you be using? Now, granted, there's gonna be some variation depending on how you dress the wheel, what your speeds and feeds are, what type of coolant you use. So it's actually gonna be kind of a band. So you're gonna get kind of a range. But this is kind of an average value to say, okay, if I need a 16 micro inch surface finish and I'm using aluminum oxide, I should have about 100 or 120 mesh wheel. Now, I can pull it off with a 60 mesh wheel if I dress real dull, but then I'm gonna have to pay the price in terms of lots of burn, lots of chatter. Now your wheel supplier is right, ah, put on a 100, 120 mesh wheel, that's a better choice for a wheel. Typically what happens is they say, okay, they bring in the 120 mesh wheel, they stick it on, the operator dresses the wheel the same way he always does, and starts to grind, and oh my God, if they were burned before, now they're really terribly burned now. Because before they had a big grit wheel dressed dull, now they have a small grit wheel dressed dull, which is even worse. And they'll look and they say, wow, we've got a mere surface finish, but our parts are burned to death. We can't tolerate this type of burn. Your wrong wheel supplier, we're going back to our 60 mesh wheel. What they should do is take their 120 mesh wheel stick it on, and then dress it with some reasonable parameters. Not the dull ones from before, but a reasonably fast traverse speed, a good depth of cut of a thou or 25 microns. Then what they'll find is their surface finish, it's not mere finish anymore, it comes up a little bit, but it's around the 16 micro inch or 0.4 micron range. But better yet, they've got small grits that are sharp, which are gonna cut well, give them less burn and less chatter. So they got a choice. They can go with a grit size that's too big and make the wheel dull. They can go with a grit size that's the right size, make the wheel sharp. And the correct choice always is just to go with the right grit size, make the wheel sharp, and you'll find a lot of your headaches with burn, chatter, burr, disappear.